Good morning everyone. I am Rishali Dhanokar, Assistant Professor, IT Department. In my last videos, we started our uh, next unit or last unit that is Unit 6. So, in this video, we will learn about some diagrammatic dialogue design notations that generally used in human computer interaction field and also some computer mediated communication channels. So, let's see how exactly this dialogue design notations will be work next. Uh, following points are covered in this video, which includes about dialogue design notations, why we use dialogue design notations, there are some examples, types and also some information regarding computer mediated communication. So, let's see next. So, first about dialogue design notation. So, first thing, what is meant by dialogue? So, dialogue is the synthetic level of human computer interaction. It is rather like the script of play except the user and sometimes the computer has more choices. So, dialogue simply means the communication between the devices, the communication between how exactly your design will be work and the communication between different models, different diagrams and different actions. So, this thing is called as dialogue. The notations used for dialogue description, it has two types. First, diagrammatic notation. Second, textual notations. So, first type is diagrammatic notations. It's easy to read at a glance. So, these are the types of diagrammatic notation. That is straight transition networks, petronets, state charts, flow charts and JST. And next type is textual notation. It's easier for formal analysis. So, grammar and production rules. These are the examples of textual notation. And this concept is called as dialogue design notations. So, let's see how exactly diagrammatic and textual notations will be work. Next. So, before that, first, why we use dialogue design notations? What is dialogue? So, dialogue between conversion between two or more parties, right? The dialogue link to the semantic of the system means meaning of system, right? What it does exactly. And the presentation of the system means how it looks or look like in future. Formal description can be analyzed for inconsistent action, for difficult to reverse action, some missing items and for potential missing error. So, these things we analyze through the dialogue design notations. Clear? Next. So, the first type of dialogue design notation is diagrammatic notation. And the first example or type is state transition network. We should use all these diagrams in our engineering fields, right? So, state transition networks means sequence of user action, it check consistency or it check whether the similar actions will be performed or not and also recognize the current state. So, this is the diagram of state transition network. The circle represents the states of the system arcs represent the action or what exactly events will be performed, right? So, uh, this is the start of the system, this is exactly action will be performed and this is the finish, ok? Suppose the example is this, the text type, bold, italic or underline and there are radio buttons will be present, ok? So, you should as per your requirements, whether you need italic format or bold format or underline format. So, these things will be represented to a uh, state transition network. First is start, then menu, then first circle represents the particular bold format, then circle 2 and then finish. So, this is the concept of state transition network. Next, uh, second type of diagrammatic notation is petrinets. Petrinets is one of the oldest notation in computing and simple model for dynamic behavior. It shows how exactly your system dynamically will be work. So, Petrinets has total four components that is place, transition, arc and token. So, uh, see in this diagram, there is green signal and red signal, right? So, green signal represent user press bold button, okay? And red signal represent user press italic button, okay? So, these two, th two things will be used or show by using these petrinets, ok. So, that is place, that are the transitions, this waves is called as transition, these are the arc 
and each and everything is represented by the tokens format that is t1 t2 t3 t4 okay so user press bold button then bold off okay again bold on next thing italic on italic off you when user press the italic button so this thing will be represented through the patronites diagram clear next now the third example of diagrammatic notation is state charts state chart represents the complex reactive system that extends finite state machine and handle the concurrency state chart generally used in uh, principles of compiler design field or system programming field it also simplify the complex system representation means how your system exactly work okay so there are different types of states will be present active state basic states and super states see in this diagram suppose the there is a empty form okay when you perform a registration first there is login page suppose log out it goes to welcome page okay the empty form if you submit then the submitting if reject the particular error it will be generated again you should perform registration again submit again reject so this is one kind of loop okay suppose you register submit and your error or issue will be solved after that you should do a login right so this is the concept or login information or sign in information will be shown through this state charts this how exactly this system will be work clear so each and every states is represented as the active state okay this 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 box will be the subset of these two forms that is empty form and submitting so this thing is called as super states and this thing is called as basic states clear next next diagrammatic notation is called as flow charts flow chart is a picture of the separate state of the process in sequential order flow chart we should use generally in algorithm in data structures right so flow chart can be also defined as diagrammatic representation of algorithm or step by step approach of solving a particular task see in this diagram start then display welcome screen okay then you should enter a correct password accept password but if you enter a wrong password it check whether if password is correct yes application will be completed if no then display correct password again welcome screen again enter a password right so this is the structure means how your algorithm how your program exactly work so this thing is called as flow chart next the next type of diagrammatic notation is jsd jsd means jackson structured design it is used for task analysis and dialog design notations uh, this thing or this notation is very less expensive and greater clarity for example personal record system so for example a personal record system in personal record system there are three options like login transaction and logout so transaction again divided into the some sub parts that is add employee records change employee record you should display employee record and also delete employee record so these all operations will be performed in this transaction mode right so this diagram is called as jst jst it show the structure how your system exactly will be work and jst always shown in hierarchical format or in notations clear next the next type of uh, diagrammatic notation is textual notation and the first type is grammars so what is meant by grammar grammar are generally used to describe the syntax of programming language how exactly you should enter or write a particular language through computer it specify the structure of expression and statements generally grammars this concept is used in a pcd subject that is principal of compiler design or some university has a system programming subject that is sp okay so these two subjects are completely de depend on the grammar okay so uh, what is grammar how exactly grammar will be work i have explained all those things in my last video and i have mentioned the link of all the system programming subjects or grammar regular grammar in below description box okay you should watch those videos in more detail next the next textual notation is production rules the production of grammar specify the manner in which terminals non terminals can be combined to form a string 
so each production consists a non terminal it is called as left side of production and arrow and sequence of tokens is called as right side of production so what is production what is semantic rules i have explained in system programming playlist okay and i have mentioned the link of all those videos in below description box you should watch those videos regarding production and regarding semantic rules next now next topic is computer mediated communication computer bit communication between two or more individual people who interact with each other via separate computer through internet and network connection right so computer mediated communication generally done in two ways asynchronous communication and synchronous communication asynchronous communication is independent of real time means email viewing the web page watching video download files etc but synchronous communication means between two or more users that is messages audio video calls etc right so the applications of computer mediated communications are email message system video conference and virtual collaborative environments so this is the concept of computer mediated communication means how exactly communications will be done through the or between the computers and the human clear next so you understood each and every thing related to the diagrammatic notations and communications keep practicing thank you